right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, Puma Mania, I had a ball this weekend, man. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm really enjoying this game because if I wouldn't, there's no way I could have made it through Puma Mania. I think I played this game every day I played from 3 to 10 and then I got back on at like four and played to like midnight or something like that. But then yesterday I played all day long. Um, what did I play? I played from 3 a.m. to 11 p.m. So like we played all day long. I got so many hours in this game this weekend. And I can definitely tell you there's some things that need to be worked out in the game. A lot of things, you know, we, we let them slide or whatever. I can't tell you one thing, but Whites is going in at an all time high. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about your boy Steezo, the guy being back. How was your Puma mania? What did you push to uh, this weekend is the main thing I want to know, man. I was able to go from 27% on my bar on my um on my uh, superstar five superstar four bar trying to get superstar five i went from 27 percent and i got all the way up to 95 percent 95 96 we would have finished the bar out but we just didn't have the intestinal fortitude to keep going so drop a like on the video if you made your goal this weekend let me know how much you increased your bar and and we got some other stuff we even got steezo the god being back man but we're gonna talk about all that on the other side let's just get right into it you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, man, so check it out. Full disclosure, man. We played a lot of good people this weekend. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of people keep saying that they losing to Timmy 235, bro. We didn't lose a game until yesterday now we lost like 10 games yesterday but everybody that we lost games to was good it was good it came down to one possession and you know that 2k always gonna do their thing on you on that one or two possessions man like we these guys that we playing right here like this is how this is how i play during rep events during rep events i'm not trying to sweat i'm just trying to grind rep i don't care about nothing else other than grinding rep so we played these dudes right here the first time and they beat us because we're trying to grind rep play the second time they beat us look hey it is what it is we can't beat y'all how we trying to play y'all it is what it is we leave the park we go y'all it's battle battle for the come up court is how it was they beat us because we couldn't rep grind and beat them at the same time it is what it is we out of there y'all got it then they came back and pulled up and wanted to play and you know what i mean it just is what it is so uh, this is the game that you're seeing in the background, the third game. I guess dude just wanted to ISO me and stuff like that. I don't know why he would want to do that. I'm not a good player at all. I just play 2K for fun. I'm literally playing for rip. But if you want me to lock in, I'm going to lock in. So like I said, full disclosure, they beat us the first two games. Not even going to lie to you. But these guys are not bad. They're good players. I ain't lose no games to Timmy25 this weekend. I'm not going to lie to you. If you out there losing to Timmy25, bro, you know, no, my boy, you might not be as nice as you thought you were. Because, I, I mean, look, you're going to get caught off guard. 2K going to 2K you here and there. But, bro, if you're constantly losing games to Timmy 225, bro, something, something is up, bro. And look at that right there. Man, that's, that's what I'm talking about, 2K right there. That's what I'm talking about, getting 2K. Look, he came down the first time, hit his three. Now I'm like, okay, I know what the move. I know your moves. I got you. Boom. Make him lose the ball. And what happens? The ball goes and nobody can get it and it hits the pole. So now they get another possession. It's, it's it's stuff like that that drives me crazy and stuff like that. Also, people hitting, uh, you know, what my boy Shakedown right here talking about, talking about somebody. I, I'm, I'm going to bring it up after this right here. But look, I'm playing playing good defense. You know, again, like this is what I do, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a decent defender. He got me though. Can't even lie. I can't even lie. He got me right there. Had to over. I had to overplay it because he was, I thought it was gonna drive. Is what it is. He's a good player. He's mixing up his moves. Can't get mad at it. I like. How can you get mad when you're losing to somebody that's clearly decent? I don't understand it. Cause we're not losing no games to nobody that's complete trash. It just is what it is. Uh, my boy Shakedown. He says. He says. Anyone notice the amount of white privilege going on in the park lately? And we just see it. Like, look, bro, dudes is hitting shots. I played somebody. The other day, bro, dude hit a 38%. I got on Heart Crusher too, right? He hit a 38% white in my face. And that gave him takeover. If he would have missed that shot, he wouldn't have gotten takeover and we would have won the game. But he had a 38, 39% white in my face, a 30, uh, and then hit a 34% um, green 
with takeover. And then after that, like 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 I said, you know, it couldn't. There's nothing you can really do. Then it, it just is what it is. We lost the game. Still should have won it because when he hit that, that the BS shot, when he hit that bull, he we was we was up. Uh, what was we up? I think we were up. Um, like 12 to 18 and, and long. I mean, you know, we choked it away. But dude, it was nice though. He scored like 11 points a game. Like, we're not losing games to people that's garbage. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, you and, and we trying to rep grind. So sometimes, you know, you're going to try to rep grind on somebody and it might come back to get you. Pretty much like my boy T. Mills say, you can't play with people at all right now. But about these whites going in, bro, I think the biggest issue with the whites going in is simply this. When you play this game, and these white, I, I think the reason that the, that it, that it's happening is this. The reason I think it's happening is when they put in the patch to patch everything. I think it reset it back to the beginning of the year as far as the white goes. Because y'all remember at the beginning of the year, bro, when you could play this game and um, what would happen? You could shoot 55% greens. I remember because if you shot a 55% green, he would just leave his hand up there like that and uh and just fade back and stuff. And it would be like, dang man, this sucks because. Um, you know what I'm saying? People can hit those in your face and they was green. Now they still hitting them. They just white. Like, I'd be, I'd be like, at least if it was green, it would go in. So I feel like what they did was they just changed it to where it ain't turning green. It probably still, it ain't green, but it's green like Cole the Man say. Like, it's still green as far as the game goes right there. But, uh, you know, hey, hey, they let me, hey, what? Whoop the damn dude. They actually let me get a steal because I played good defense. Imagine. But, but he got his take. Like, I don't, I don't know. Bro, we lost one game this weekend. Tell me what the worst loss you took this weekend. How far? Well, first of all, tell me how far you feel out your bar. What was the worst loss you took this weekend? The worst loss we took this weekend was Brute went to the rim. Look at that. 32%. Bro, whatever. You can say he got his take. I don't care. I'm playing magnificent defense. Whatever. Um, What was I going to say? Brute went to the rim. Oh, that, that, that's how we lost to them the first game. Well, Brute went to the rim. That's my fault. I should have kept running. And when you see, we, we in rep grind mode 100% of the time. Even in even in a serious game, we don't care. We in rep grind mode. That's proof that I'm not BSing. But we we all, we had the game. We up 19 to 18. Brute go to the rim. Nobody's in the paint. Completely wide open, right? He's completely wide open in the paint. What happens? What happens? Wit take. Finishing moves take. What happens? He smokes a wide open dunk. And then dude come back down to the other end and hit like a 34% white. And then they win the game. I'm like, bruh, what? Like stuff like that is what really kills you. Like that's what hurts. But like I said, them guys are good players. And they, you know, again, another steal that they don't give me. Because, you know, 2K don't want to reward good defense. I'm, I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, bro. I'm, I'm pooping. It is what it is. But um, a lot of times, like I said, what's the worst loss you took this weekend? Other than error codes, because I know I lost like 10 games to error codes too. So I probably lost like 20 games all weekend. I don't think I lost but 10 maybe this weekend. And all 10 of them came on that day or whatever like that. And uh, like people say, face ain't gone. Bro, face is out of here, bro. They are out of here. They're just not, you know, they just, you can still hit them. They're just a lot harder to hit. And that's what I was saying. Like, look, Timmy 25 ain't, was last time he was smacking fades. The whole time. The whole time. Yep, that, I know that sucks right there. That the take, the takeover went away right at the end. And you can, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pass that to town. But ever the rep ground, I try to go to the rim. But I know, I know that, I know that had to hurt right there. How does he dribble through that? 2K! Please! Please tell me! What is this? What is this? I'm sta- Bruh, stop. Like, like I said, you can't take this game seriously with stuff like that going on. But, um, it is what it is. Like I said, we putting little Timmy in the dirt. Good players got us. I lost about 10 games to lag outs. Uh, we won, um, we lost 10 games to probably good players, probably made it drop one or two to Timmy, just 2K in us and stuff like that. But them lag outs and error codes got to go. Some people said that they're not on PlayStation. They are on PlayStation because my boy sent me one and he said, Jay, I caught an error code file corrupted on PlayStation and some of my items are gone and my doggone players is gone. You know, my players gone like that. Y'all don't have it like it is on Xbox. Where, you know, on PlayStation, what you can do is, uh, everybody not see just desperation fading right now, bro. It's over with now. Like, I mean, I get it. I get it. But we're sometimes we're just not going to let you come back. It just is what it is. We're not rep grinding no more. We actually trying to get people up out of here. But um, that would have worked. We would have lost this game because them fade, that fade of mania would have had, had, had us lost. But, like, I'm just showing you that, that the fades are definitely patched. 
they're not going in as much as they did. They did change the green window, but it's just harder to hit. I really think what's happening with the whites though, is just that people just, um, the way that we're looking at it is this. With the whites, it's like they, they reset them back to normal. And now what we have is a, we're in the state where the game was in the beginning. So what we're going to have to do now is just wait to 2K tune some stuff up. And then once they fine tune it, I think we're probably going to see a game where we're probably not going to see really much whites go in anymore. And once we do that, then we're probably not going to see, you know, they, they can, they, like, like Mike said, they can individually fine tune things. So hopefully that'll be the case. But uh, like I said, I mean, it was a good game, man. You know, six, six, four, eleven, three for seven. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, that's what happens when you when you lock in and play play the game a little bit. And those guys are really good, though. Like this is what I'm telling you, they're not no bums. Like those guys are really good. So win, lose, a draw, I'm not gonna be mad because I can never get mad when I lose a game like that. I'm not losing to Timmy, so I can't relate to like a lot of other people and stuff like that. I'm not in dog fights with Timmy's. The game is never in 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 uh. And what you call it. But the reason I don't like playing sweaty games like that during Puma Mania is this right here, bro. Let me show y'all something, man. You play, you play a magnificent game. And what happens? Point two. Look at that. You play a magnificent game and get point two. When all day when I'm playing against Timmy and Tim, Timmy, Tim, Timmy one and Timmy two, I'm getting point four, point five. I ain't trying to play no game where I'm sweating all day and win the game. Like, and so, so he must not have got nothing for that game. And your teammates holding the corner, damn sure they didn't get nothing. So that's crazy. Why would you want to do that and sit here and sweat against people all day long when I'm trying to get rep? My goal is rep. I'm trying to get 0 .4, 0 .5 every game so that I can get maximize my time on the game. I'm not trying to play people over and over and over and over. That's why if I lose a couple times and I'm like, yeah, this is too sweaty, I'm out of there. I don't care about no competition during these events. I play you all day tomorrow during a game, you know, on, on when it ain't no events out. But on these events, bro, ain't nobody trying to play nobody all day. But anyway, man, up the next. We got, uh, speaking of whites going in, my guy tweeted me this, man. He said, how is this possible, bro? And uh, you're going to see dude come up here. I hate, I hate Twitter videos. I really hate them with a passion. Pull up. Big white, 50 some odd percent. Come down court. Big white, 4%. That goes in. Come back down court. What happens? 100% smother. And it goes in, man. Stuff like this got to be worked on, bro. I don't care if you got your takeover or not. That's not a license to take a, stu a stupid shot. It's just not. You shouldn't be able to just go brain dead. Once you once you get takeover, and I ain't even got to worry about that. I don't even got to make good decisions anymore. Like at that point, you should have to make good decisions. But if you make a mistake, you know it can cover it up a little bit. But 100% smother shouldn't go in at any time. 2K, please go back, look at the shot contest, look at all of this stuff, and let's get it back to how it was, bro. I'm cool with y'all. Let me know down in the comment section. Y'all cool with green or no? Green or green or no go? Cause I'm cool with that. If ever, if the only thing that's gonna go in is greens then I'm cool with that. That's how the game needs to be. Let's let only greens go in, and then, yeah, that'll raise the skill gap. Because if ain't no whites going in for you, they ain't going in for me, and I'm not going to be mad either way. It's neat. Be back like 2K20 and all of that. It's green or nothing. Up next, man, we got your boy Steezo. This is the story that y'all really came here for, bro. Steezo said next gen is fun AF. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like too, bro. You got to do what you got to do. I didn't like Call of Duty because I couldn't play it the way that I wanted to last year because you literally couldn't move around because everybody could hear you coming. I didn't say it was a bad game. I said the sound was magnificent. The the, the graphics were great. The uh, gun sound, the gunplay was awesome. It felt like you were shooting a real gun. The game was an awesome game. I couldn't play it the way that I wanted to play it, so I didn't like it. That's it. A lot of people can play this game the way that they want to play it. The game ain't bad, bro. The game is not bad. You may just not be able to play it the way that you want to play it. And who can and, and if if the way that you want to play it is beating little Timmy every time and he don't even have a chance against you. See, a lot of people wouldn't have shown that game because that dude dropped 15, 16 points on me, right? Nobody don't want to show a game where somebody dropped 15 points on them. They want to shut people out and just beat them. And they don't want to give it up to nobody. Dude was a nice, he's nice. If I didn't have Brute on my team, I would add him and play with him all the time. But I got a point guard. 
You understand what I'm saying? Like that that just is what it is. But dude, it's nice. People just don't want to give it up. That's really what it is, I feel like. But you know it is what it is. And then uh one guy says, nah, bro, it has potential, but there's no skill gap in the game. Uh your ordinary old head could hop on the game and drop 40. That's how easy it is. And uh yeah, I'm that old head that'll drop 40 on your ass. It just is what it is. And lock you up on the other end. Uh, let me see. 2K ain't had a skill gap in years. LOL. I'm just saying. It's fun. And that's what it is. To me, it's a skill gap. If I feel like I can play defense and you feel like you can't play defense, then what is that? That's a skill gap. If I feel like I can hit shots and you feel like you can't hit shots, you know, that's a skill gap to me. But I'm just saying, like like I said, we in two different worlds or whatever, bro. It, like, I don't know, man. I like the game. You don't have to like the game. Even my boy T. Mills say, he like, bro, you can't stop nobody. You can't stop nobody in this mother. But no way, no way you can't stop nobody. But guess what? I still like the game. I'm still having fun with it. So that's how I go. But me, me crushing people ain't how I have fun. I have fun because it's a basketball game and I want to play. Uh, Steezo says, y'all think I'm lying when I say I'm having fun? 1,300 games. Look at that. 1,300 games in the park. 95 win percentage. 68% from three. Look at that, man. Like, like you can have fun. And this is one of the pillars in the community. This is the biggest thing that he said that I love the most. This feeling like 2K, uh, the old 2K18 days. A lot of the community hated the game. And that honestly inspires me. That honestly inspires me, um, too. It honestly inspires me, too. Because I know that people blew up during those games uh when when you know what i'm saying they really blew up during those games when nobody was posting it and uh all that stuff also they said if if we get the uh if we get that next gen and current gen steve if we can get that current gen, he says i like next gen more to be honest and that's really real and i'm gonna tell y'all why and then the last thing they said next gen next gen dribbling uh next gen dribbling and uh offense could I mean, it's cool for real, just the defense that makes the whole game. And he says something that I've been saying the whole time. Yeah, it sucks that people can score on me when they shouldn't because defense is slow compared to offense. But the same applies to them having to guard me as well. And that's real. Like, bro, like I said, I really feel like, look at this right here. Let me show y'all show y'all what I got, the difference between those games, bro. This is what I'm out here for. Look at this, look at this. Started at point three, one, two, three, four. That's what I'm talking about, point four. Not trying to come out here and sweat against people all day long for point two or point one if we lose. I'm not trying to do it. I'm try not gonna be able to do it. What I'm out here for is rep and to have a fun experience. And sometimes when you're playing against sweats all day, it's just not gonna be fun. I, hey, call me whatever you want to. We can win games against anybody. But when I'm out here for rep, rep grinding, like that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the legend. I'm not going to sit here and play against sweats all day long and get point two if I win and point one if we lose. Like that's just silly, especially when it's a limited time game mode and you shouldn't either. But it is what it is. Like I said, though, a lot of people just don't know how to give it up, man, because you're going to get scored on. And like I said, when they ask for everything, everybody thought it was going to be cool, but they, you forgot that you was going to have to guard that too. And just like T said, if you're a YouTuber, it ain't no hide no more. You could play off guard last year and hide. You could play center last year and hide. You could play on guard and your lock could play the ball for you last year and hide. Bruh, yeah, ain't hiding this year. They're, everybody can do everything, so they're gonna switch on to you. They're gonna get the matchup they want. And sometimes you're gonna have to sit up there, be on that island by yourself. And hey, you might win or lose, but guess what? They're gonna get points on you. And when they're getting them points on you, it just make you look bad and do something to your ego. I know it do something to your ego. I know it does. But when somebody dropping you off in real life, you can't just be like, I don't like basketball anymore. I want to play. I don't know, man. I'm just trolling with that. But I'm th I just think that's what it is. A lot of people just have trouble giving it up. I ain't got no problem giving it up. I give it up to them guys that came through the stream. I said it, it is what it is. I spazzed for a little bit because I was pissed because they let dude hit a couple whites and they made Brute miss a wide open dunk and I felt like they gave him the game. But you know, at this point, it is what it is. 2K. 2K is 2K, man. It is what it is, man. You know you're going to have those games. You just got to get by them and move on. And uh, like I said, I feel like that's what a big, the biggest issue is. People just don't know how to give it up. But uh, sometimes you got to give it up, man. There's some people that can play this game besides us. And uh, YouTube views and stuff like that, I mean, it's cool. But they don't owe us no YouTube views when they make this game. 
the game their game they trying to make a good game that's fun for people and they just want to do it like that and if people are having fun that's all it is us not getting youtube views that don't mean nothing at all bro we just if we don't get them we just can't get them and it is what it is i would rather the game be fun and super entertaining than me being able to get a ton of views if all my friends are having fun and i'm having fun i played these games before i even drop i love call of duty i'm gonna be streaming it after this probably not even gonna drop no call of duty videos this year my my like but like i said but these are the same people that say it i don't care about youtube views i just want to have a fun game we got a fun game you're just not getting the views so what does that really mean are you really so that's why we're not having no fun no more or something i, I don't know it is what it is man i'm out of here man i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i think a lot of this stuff probably hit real but Bro, don't change the build the system, bro. Whatever we do, we do need to get rid of these whites. We do need to get rid of these, uh, do need to get rid of the whites. We do need to uh, tone down fades a little bit more. Uh, we definitely need to tone down people hitting contested shots a lot more. But other than that, man, I think we got a pretty solid game. And uh, I think we can get, get by from here. I ain't even really get dunked on that much, but I got 70 interior defense on the guard, though. So, I know I already talked too long, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. How much progress did you make? What was the worst L you took? Do YouTubers just not know how to give it up when they play somebody that's nice like them and they just mad because they can't hide no more because you can't just assign a lot to guard the guy? And uh, all that good stuff. And if Steve's all right, is the game fun AF? Yeah, I think he is. I'm out of y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. I'm about to get out of here. I will be streaming on Twitch uh, later on today. We're going to be playing some Call of Duty, Come Through, Show Love, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Guys, please.